Hi, I'm Tom McLaughlin. Welcome to Web Design, and we are looking at the photo editor Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R. And the reason why we're looking at this is because we want to be able to create graphics for our website. Namely, today we're looking at how you would create a header for your website. So there's two options when we go to P-I-X-L-R.com, Pixlr.com. The bottom one is a quick and easy method. And we can do a couple options here for opening a image. But before you do any of this, it looks like you could just dive right in, which you could. But um, we want to be able to save our work. So I'm going to first go to load from a URL because this is the easiest way to, to say to load stuff. But we want to log in first before we do anything else. So I want to click log in. And it's going to ask me a couple different options. I like to use the Google account. So I'm going to hit sign with Google, use my school account, and my password. And that'll take me right back to Pixlr. And I got to agree to this. Am I interested in receiving suggestions? No, I don't need any more emails. Do I want to receive rebates and updates? No. There we go. Now I'm all logged in and signed in. So I'm going to load from a URL, and what I do is I just paste the image here. So suppose um, I wanted to, you know, find a picture of a dragon or something like that. I would just paste the link to that from the URL right into there. But before I do that, I'm going to start just a new image. So I'm going to hit here plus. Let's see, templates. So as you can see, I have different options for opening images that are already there. But if I want to create a blank one, which is what we want to do today, we're going to click Create New. And that'll open up a blank one for us. And we have a couple choices for image sizes. We have web small 800 by 600. Uh, we have square. We have Instagram. But we also have over here, we have the ability to type in our own height and width. And I'm going to title this header. And you can choose your own height and width, but we want to make something that's going to work for a header of a web page. So probably, I think 150 pixels is pretty good for the height of the header. And then 1920 is pretty good because it goes all the way across the full screen for our header. But we could add a background color if we wanted to. For us, I think we're going to add um, just a plain white. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Okay, so color selected. And down here at the bottom, it says create. Let's see what we get. And we got this thin strip that allows us to now create our header. So now um, we could add some text. We can add an image. So let's talk about how to add that image that we were talking about before. I could um, browse, see what they have here on my computer. I could add from a URL, or I could use their own stock footage. But let's say I wanted to add in our URL image. So I'm going to search for a dragon. And the thing you have to be careful of is when you're searching for images, you have to make sure that you have the rights to use that image. We have all these great images here, but I want to make sure I switch the tools and switch the usage rights to Creative Commons. That way I know the images I'm using are okay. The other thing I want to go in here and do is I like to use uh, GIF images because often they're transparent backgrounds and sometimes they're moving. Let's do Dragon PNG. And that for sure is a, there we go. This one's a pretty good one. Make sure my tools are still set to usage rights. Oh, Creative Commons. And I want to look for one that is a nice PNG image that has a background that is transparent. And if not, I might have to 
get rid of the background, but let's see. Um, I think I'm going to go with this public domain picture. I right click on it and I go to open image in a new tab. And now I have the exact link to the image. If I just click on the link, then what will happen is it'll go to whatever the website is. But this is a pretty good website, publicdomainpictures.net. And here is the picture. I'm going to go into my photo editor now, go back to my URL and paste in. Oops, something went wrong. Oh, I may have to try again. Let me pause this. Okay, so it seems like it's not letting me get the image that I want, but I can do this a different way because sometimes that happens, right? So I'm going to right click on the image that I had and click on save image as and just save it to my computer. And I'm going to save it right to my downloads. There we go. And I can go into my photo editor. This time I could just browse my computer and look on my downloads and it's right there. And click open and there is my dragon. I'm going to resize it by grabbing these controls and resize him and drag him up to here. Like that. Pretty good. So now I have my dragon. I have all these other cool tools. I can go in and retouch. Um, I can add an effect, but I need multiple layers to do that. So I think we need to add in a layer. There we go. I'm going to unlock this layer like that. Now I have two layers. And I think I can now go on and get control of these again. There we go. So you have to unlock the bottom layer or add another layer. And you can add another layer just by hitting this plus sign down here at the bottom. So I can show you how to do that. I'm going to add another layer. Okay, now we have another layer added. We have to make sure we know which layer we're on when we're drawing onto layers. And I can go in and infill, I can go in and sharpen and blur, I can dodge, I have all these different kinds of tools that I can do. Liquify, I can do filters. There we go. That looks kind of cool. Then I'm going to go in and add some text. Oh, they got all these kinds of cool fonts and stuff I could use. That might be useful. Let's see. That looks good. It says happy holidays, but I'm not going to have it say all that. I'm just going to have it say Mr. McLaughlin. And I just clicked on it to get to all this and I can change the font. And here's the text. And I'm going to type Mr. McLaughlin. Might need to make this bigger to show the whole thing. There we go. Almost positioned it up here. There we go. So now I have Mr. McLaughlin. That is a header for my website. And then I can go ahead and save this onto my computer. Save it as a JPEG. Um, you can save it as PNG, but this has no transparency, so there's no point. We could just save it as a JPEG. Um, high quality, medium quality, low quality. That deals with how fast the image will load. But for the website, we kind of want to do a lower quality because we want it to load pretty quickly. We don't want a super high quality video. Uh, not video, super high quality image because it takes a while to load. Download that. Save it to my computer. And now I have my header file. If you need some more help with our website here, you can go into um, the uh, website and you see this right here. What is Pixlr X? This tells you about Pixlr and tells you all the different things that you can do with it. Also has some built in templates. Um, I also have included um, 
a video at the bottom of this. It's just a general tutorial of all things Pixlr. And if you really want to go into some things, you can look at the Pixlr E, which is a much more advanced Photoshop type editor for Pixlr uh, that has many more features uh, that you might want to dive into if you're used to Photoshop. This is a great alternative if you don't have Photoshop um, because it's free. So that's all for us today. I'll see you next time.